What use is an F-call? Recently, I had the opportunity to participate in a contest that was specifically set up for QRP, that is, 5 watts or less. There was an hour for digital modes, including Morse, but I don't yet speak that, so I sat tight for the second hour, for phone. This particular contest was a single band only contest, 80 meters. When I planned for the contest, I set my watch wrong by an hour, so I almost didn't make it, but fortunately my XYL queried my delayed departure and I was out the door in the nick of time. I headed out to the beach only to be confronted with S8 noise from a local housing estate. So I retreated rapidly back into the bush and found myself a lovely little nook where I could park the car without causing any disruption and start twiddling the dial. I immediately learned that my vertical was very, very narrow in bandwidth. That is, there was a limited range of frequencies I could use which curtailed the activity somewhat. Undeterred, I hunted up and down the workable range, heard lots of stations and even made one contact. I almost tickled the eardrum of a station on the other side of the country, but he was being bombarded by other noisemakers, so that didn't eventuate. I got my eardrums belted by some locals who hadn't heard that it was a QRP contest, but all in all, there was lots of fun to be had. My take home was that I should prepare better. I should have scouted a location earlier, used a more suitable antenna and considered if the locals would be pulling out of a side road, shining their headlights on me parked in the bush on a continuous rotation. The contest was easy to do. It reminded me that prior planning prevents piss poor performance and that I should really think about a better way to log contacts on the road in a contest situation. So every outing is a learning opportunity. If you don't think back about the experience, how do you go about learning from it? I'm Ono, Victor Kilo 6, Foxtrot, Lima, Alpha, Bravo.